This is more than just a high school. This is where your story begins, where you learn, grow, and figure out the person you want to be. This is Southwest. This is Wolf Fight. And this is our story. Southwest, I'm Brady Sorvin. And I'm Crandall Blake. Thanks for tuning in to our May show. For our final show this year, we decided to highlight the senior class of 2019. This show will also be highlighting the seniors of Wolf Bite TV, and you'll get to see them anchor as they finish their year as Southwest alumni. First off, let's dive in and meet the softball team and all their seniors. In our school, it's fairly common for athletes to get scholarships. You might expect one, maybe two graduating seniors from each team to be a part of the elite group of student athletes that go on to play college sports. But what may surprise you is the group of seniors on this year's varsity softball team. I'm Peyton Renzi and I'm going to the University of Kansas to play softball. I'm Maddie Ryman and I'll be attending Butler Community College to play softball. I'm Katie Reek and I'm going to the University of Dayton to play softball. I'm Corey Stone Street, and I'll be going to the University of Nebraska at Omaha to play softball. I am Hannah Maurer, and I will be attending Baker University to play softball. I'm pretty proud of them. You know, they've worked hard for this. Just thinking about the countless hours and games that they've put in to receive these honors and these awards and these scholarships, it's immense. And behind these immense accomplishments is one special person. Coach Shockey is my number one fan. She's the loudest one out there all the time. Shockey has been a very big part of my life uh, on and off the field, just with personal stuff and softball. And she's actually um, helped me get to Baker and get in contact with that. So I do have a lot to thank, for, um, thank her for that. She's also shown me that I can compete um, after bouncing back last year and she's just always happy and smiling for all of us no matter what we're going through. She loves the game, which gives everyone a sort of passion, I guess, for the game that I never knew that I could feel or have. The team's passion for softball comes from not only the coach, but the team as a whole. I think it's really cool that all five of us are going to play. It just shows that we've all really worked hard over the past couple of years. We all care about the game the same amount and we all want to be really successful. I've been playing with a lot of these girls for a really long time and we're also a really close like senior class. These girls are willing to put in the work, not for themselves, but for the team. Doing for the team, a selfless act that matters as much today as it will 30 years down the road. Reporting for Wolf Bite TV for the last time, this has been Matt McCabe and Courtney Hafner. Good luck next year, girls. We can't wait to see all the amazing things you'll be doing in college. Their love for the sport has paved them a unique opportunity for their futures. Another program that can open up opportunities for your future is the CAPS program. Let's take a look at how CAPS has impacted three seniors in their respective fields. CAPS is really, to me, a transition between high school and just learning skills and learning math and all these concepts that are really surface level to applying it to the real world. It kind of shows you what kind of person you are when you're not in a general classroom setting. If you're going to be the guy who uses that time to learn new things and prepare yourself for your future. It's a place where you just learn to be more professional. It kind of helps you decide if you want to do that in the future. CAPS equips students to pursue their future careers now in high school. I chose to do CAPS filmmaking because I thought it would give me a jump start into my field and career that I want to go into. And just knowing some of the skills such as editing and the softwares and how to use a camera is just great to go into college already knowing. Also, I get to um, make connections with real world clients and job opportunities straight out of high school. I chose to go to Nebraska because I really like their journalism school and sports media degree. And and that's kind of my focus that I've been interested in is making sports videos, whether it be the hype videos that you see before games up on the big screens or like social media content as you're scrolling through your phone. That's kind of what my focus has been this semester at CAPS. So I'm doing the aerospace engineering strand at CAPS and I mainly got involved because initially I knew that I wanted to do engineering but I really wanted to test 
what type of engineering for college. So my future plans are to go to KU for mechanical engineering and I hope to work at a company, you know, whether it be Disney in designing roller coasters to Tesla and helping design new cars. And CAPS has put me on that path, you know, finding your own way and learning how to make things work when no one's ever gotten it to work before. I'm in sports medicine and basically you learn a lot of things just from every single medical strand. You get to do a lot of professional work and like contact doctors and nurses. We do simulation lab, so we have a real patient or a fake patient. We have a lot of real qualities and they have a specific diagnosis and we have to figure out what that is. They're so unique and really fun to do too. CAPS is amazing because you learn things that you never would be able to in a normal high school setting and rather than going into college and figuring out you don't like a certain field, you can just take the class now, see if medicine is even something you want to go into, or filmmaking, or engineering, and it just gives you a little taste. The CAPS program is an opportunity for students to not only figure out their future, but how they can discover their passions now. Reporting for Wolf by TV for the last time, this has been Becca Cannon and Tyler Dorn. From filmmaking to medicine, CAPS has programs to get you ready for your career. My CAPS class really helped me to figure out what I want to do in the future. The same thing happened for Taylor. Her passion for teaching really grew after joining CAPS, and what she's been able to accomplish has been incredible. Let's take a look. One Southwest student who believes all our dreams can come true, if we have the courage to pursue them, shows us her journey to accomplishing her dream. I have wanted to be a teacher since I was five years old. <laughs> seeing all the colorful rugs and the colorful pictures around the room and seeing all the fun things you get to do and all the teachers who have helped me really pushed me to want to be a teacher. From such a young age, she has always wanted to make kids feel loved. My main inspiration is the kids, is that seeing how happy they are and how excited they get for everything. Just all the positivity, all the positive things that you get to see every single day. At only the age of 18, Taylor has achieved many impressive things she had never thought were possible. I'm on the State Board of Kansas for Educators Rising, which is the conferences that we go to. And so I'm the state vice president right now, but um, coming May and June, I'll be transferred into the president's seat for Kansas, and so I will be representing Kansas of Educators Rising. With these kids, Taylor wants to be the ladder that helps her students reach their goal. I want to set them up for future success and for them always to believe in themselves and not give up just because a t another teacher or someone else tells them that they can't do something. And, as this senior would say, The teachers today will train the leaders of tomorrow. Reporting for Wolf Bite TV, this has been Ana Venegas and Gabby Meir. Keep up the good work, Taylor. We can't wait to see you teaching the next generation. Taylor is a great representation of our senior class. Her drive and motivation keeps her away from some of the typical senior stereotypes. Senior stereotypes? That's not real. I've been here for four years. I win no, Matt. But four years is so long, I'm just ready to graduate. You know, Matt, did you realize this okay. is the Well, long? our next video shows some of the typical things a senior might do or say. I think Lauren and a few other seniors are guilty of falling into these stereotypes. Senior Sunday and it's 8 o'clock, perfect time to post. Which one should I do? Oh yeah, oh, that was so cute. Okay. Perfect. I posted 17, but like, it's way, another it's way one. better than all I left. You're 18, right? Yeah. Yes, okay. Did my mom call? No, I haven't heard from your mom. You haven't? No. I got the K State. No way. Sophie. I got the K State. <laughs> Sarah. I got the K State. Yeah. Oh my God, Emma. You know what I just realized? Like, this is the last newspaper we're ever gonna be doing. Oh my gosh. This is the last time I might even touch like a school laptop. That's right. Like, like I'm getting emotional. I'm gonna miss it's you so scenty. much. It's I'm gonna miss I'm gonna you gonna miss too. You. What the heck, Jenny? Senior skip day, again, we call that Wednesday around here. I thought yesterday was gonna be our fourth senior skip day, but apparently it's tomorrow. No, yeah, it's tomorrow. I'm definitely skipping tomorrow. I mean, I skipped yesterday anyways, cause like I had a test and I just called it a senior skip day. Yeah. Yes. Why? Oh my 
gosh, this place is awful. It's like a little prison. Do you see how great this school is? Oh. But I just love everyone. I'm gonna miss high school so much. Oh my gosh, you're so <laughs> Brady, it's the last time we get to anchor together. I know. It's so fun. I'm so excited. Okay, well it'll be the last time a lot of seniors do just about anything around the halls. Um, that may be true, but it doesn't mean that we haven't left anything behind. Let's see what Jonah and Sam and Gucci gang have left behind. <laughs> what legacy do you think you have left on Southwest? A designer legacy. I mean, like, come on. <laughs> Freshman year was like elite socks, like highlighter shorts. Now it's like Gucci bust down, like, you know. I bought like some Gucci slides and that kind of just changed my perspective on life, you know, like <laughs> I'm a whole different human being now. High five. Michael. They, they, the baby's staying right here because she knows that we have racks. So, uh, yeah. you know, like, this is how it be, man. If I knock on the door, they'll know who I am. Yeah, they'll be like, what's up, Watch man? <laughs> See, they all know who I am. See that? They know who I am. Oh, we're making some uh, big works for like Kanye West right now. <laughs> I, I couldn't say anything, man. Like, yeah, me and Sam, we make beats, so that's how we afford um, all of our expensive stuff, actually. I definitely don't work at a Mexican restaurant. I definitely don't work at Family Leisure. I actually bought this entire school when uh, it, No, dude, we went halfsies on it. Yeah, we went halfsies on the we school. We went halfsies, so. well, I planted those plants myself, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's cool, but like, being able to flex on people is just that much cooler. <sighs> we'll fight TV. Hey. This has been Sam Pardo and Jenna McCormick. Gang, gang. Oh, oh there's a wolf. <laughs> I don't know if next year's class will be able to find senior flexors like Jonah and Sam. I bet they will. And I bet they'll keep the school spirit up too. Even without the superfans? Let's take a look at how the superfans of 2019 have made an impact on this year's school spirit. Uh, the superfans are a group of six guys, me, Leo, uh, Dylan, Mitch, Blake, and Kyle. We all enjoy attending school events like sports and stuff and we just promote school spirit. You may have seen these senior super fans at games or activities, but they're doing more than just attending these events. What I'm hoping we leave is really like a legacy where people want to go to the games and like leading chance in the student section, you know, regardless of, you know, what kind of play happened. We just wanted that energy to kind of stay there and be going and kind of wanted to give people another reason to go to games, like I said, other than just, you know, how the team was doing, how the game was going. Going to games early to like watch the girls, because I know they don't really get a lot of support throughout our school with girls sports in general, so it's good to like go to those games and like support them at all times. And... The super fans are not only supporting the school, but they make time to support each other as well. I wouldn't have to say to them, hey, come to my Kansas State cross country meet or something like that, come to my cross country meet in Lawrence. You know, they'd be there and it was really cool to see being their friend and not knowing they were coming, but they'd be there just because they supported all sports. And... As these boys are about to graduate, they've discovered what makes high school so impactful. I've always said to people that high school is what you put into it for you. 745 to 250 and then you go home, you won't experience what high school is all about. And it's about going to these things, it's about getting involved. That that's what makes high school so great is you form bonds with people like these guys and with your teams and it's, that's what high school is all about. That involvement has been the best part of going to Southwest. The bond these boys have created will leave a legacy on Southwest. What legacy will you leave? Reporting for Wolf Fight TV, this has been Grace Roberts and Laura Forrest. Thank you for all you've done this year, boys. One thing I will miss most about Southwest is our school spirit. There's a lot to reminisce about now that we've reached the end of our senior year. Let's see what some seniors had to say when we interviewed them in the halls one last time. It's been a long you, my friend. Get involved in high school. It's four years and 
your senior year will come faster than anything else. If you're a freshman you need to listen to your seniors. I myself was an alpha male in the halls of Southwest and everyone fears me. Always have a smile on your face because it will make high school better. Don't wait till senior year to go to things and have spirit. Do it from the start and just go and have fun. Cherish every moment you have because it's only four years, so make it count. All the planes we flew, good things we've been through. Then I'll be standing right here talking to you. About For real, like, stay with your friends and have fun and make lots of memories. Make sure to, like, branch out and talk to people that you wouldn't normally talk to because even if they're outside your friend group or people that, you know, you seem to be a lot different from, they might end up making an impact on you and really improving your high school experience. How can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side. And now you go be with me for the last time. To all the freshmen out there, I would recommend for you guys to cherish I'll high school. It really does go by really fast. See you in Southwest. See you Southwest. Yeah. We've come along. Well, T-Wolves, that's the end of our show. Thank you for tuning in, and thank you for supporting us all year round. And as this is our last show, we wanted to announce our producers for Wolf Bite TV 2019-2020. Our executive producer will be Laura Forrest. And our show producer is Grace Roberts. Congrats. We couldn't have left the program in better hands. And that's a wrap for us, Class of 2019. Reporting for the last time, this is Matt McCabe. Lauren Golick. Alex Rains. Becca Cannon. Nathan Hall. Lainey Caldwell. Crandall Blake. And Brady Sarvin. Peace. <laughs>